Cody and I are now gonna show you how to set up the annex wall and floor on the cruiser. Our awning's already up, ready to go. I've moved my poles out of the way off the vinyl floor and I've pre-attached my draft skirt to the side of the camper. Draft skirt's easy, Velcro at the top, peg it out on the bottom and that gives me a good starting point that's nice and square to connect up my floor and construct the rest of the annex. The reason I do this is the hardest part I find is Velcroing the floor in. So if I leave it till last, I'm on my hands and knees on the vinyl, it's hard to move it around. But if I start with my floor and then bring the walls to it, it makes my life a lot easier. Now our floor's in position, that's where it'll stay. So I can return the poles back on top of the floor vinyl and I can put the first wall up. We'll do the same approach, take the wall to the canvas, attach it, attach the Velcro at the top and then button up the seams. Now that's up, we can peg it down. That's all very simple. Now we can do the wall at the opposite end of the annex. Basically, it's rinse and repeat, exactly the same thing. If you've camped and you've got a fantastic view, both side walls may be all you want to do in terms of an annex, but we still have two more poles to put into place to strengthen the structure. So we take our number 12 pole, which has a C-clip at the top with a little hole drilled not far below and a rubber cap at the other end. We turn it around with the hole facing the canvas, clip it in on top and adjust it down to the corner in the floor. There's three Velcro tabs, one in the middle, one at the top and one at the bottom. Place them around the pole. Pull our little hook down, put it in the hole that's been drilled there and Velcro them up. And don't forget to do the other side. Now we're up to the last piece of the puzzle, the front wall. A tip for making that easier is lower the roof down. That way it'll make it easy to attach the zippers at each end and reach the Velcro. So what we do is Velcro up the bottom, raise the canvas up, attach it at the top, zip up the sides and then we can peg it down. And that's our annex complete. Now the wall's up, I can go inside, adjust all the poles into the right positions, attach the Velcros around and make sure they stay put while Cody goes round and pegs down the rest of the outside. So there you go, folks. That's how easy it is to set up the annex on your cruiser. You can do it with one person much easier with two.